On the back of three weeks traveling across France and Switzerland, in the peak summer season, I test the best part of 20 rapid EV chargers in this video. I report on six criteria. Did we charge the car? Did we have to wait? How easy is it to start the charge? Are the speeds as announced? How easy is it to monitor progress? Are there nearby facilities? All right, let's get started. First up is Ionity Rally. Ticks all the boxes, loads of availability, as good as it gets. Ionity Barrel now. Not as good availability. We took the last spot, but it charges fine. Could definitely use more connectors. Ionity Synvits now. That's a bit of a disaster with one hour wait on a late August Sunday. With one faulty charger, and at the end, we had to charge on 50 kilowatt. We don't like that. Four, we're on Fastnet. We're just taking a look, and it's good availability here. As Dave Venoy, a single charger in a village, but plugging the gap along the motorway on the A6. It's free, it works, there's no wait. Number six is Tesla Bone. Loads of availability here. Sadly, it didn't work out for us as well as we thought. So we move across to the supermarket charger at 25 kilowatts. And that works well after a bit of fiddling with the card. Starting wasn't that easy. Ionity Mione. Again, an empty Ionity. It's a bit later in the day now, but we are alone and it just works. Ionity Heroes. We had two goes at this one. The first time around, enough charging available. And it works perfectly at the right speed. It starts, it works. But the second time around, just a few days later, same connector, stopped four times, had to call, not good. Simla Grave, just a 50 kilowatt charger in a mountain village. Perfect before starting a little tour des Alpes. Did have to fiddle around with the cards before starting it, but it worked out okay in the end. And Zen Annecy. Again, some fiddling with cards and apps to get it started. When it starts, it's fine. Move Chavan in Geneva. A bet of a well-known problem by now, a few cards to get it started, but when it starts, it works. Fastnet Val de Saône. Great layout, fantastic canopies, full availability, great equipment, good display. I think it ticks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. 
Ionity Langre. Different story here, very busy, took the last spot. It actually does not work. We wait 20 minutes. And we end up charging on 50 kilowatts only. Total energy in Tra. Not many connectors, but good availability on this occasion. Again, some fiddling with the card and the app to get it started. But it does work once it's started. Great speed. Ionity Chanfleury. Good set of connectors available here and it starts immediately. Good charging speeds, no hassle. Tesla Saint-Quentin, second try with the Tesla on this journey. Now this time it works. Loads of availability for Tesla superchargers. Good speed, good app. Hard to complain here. Auchan Saint-Quentin. Just used it for a little AC top up. That works. And finally, Ionity Coquel. Late in the day, but full availability. We are alone. We start, we charge, full speed. It's really what you want the experience to be. It's now time for the summary. You can take a look at all the colors. Uh, green means good, yellow means indifferent, orange means something is not quite right and is starting to be puzzling, and then red is frankly a real issue. Okay, so not too much red in here. You can spot the Tesla that didn't work for us, you can spot the Ionity e Rose where we had to restart four times and then really uh, not good is one of those stations where we had to wait for 60 minutes. Um, but in total, you can see in summary, the experience is still good enough, not perfect. In summary, we are not green, but we've got a charge that normally works. Um, in pretty much all the times we end up charging the car and frankly that's quite important because otherwise that might mean you're not driving any further and that would be a bit of a problem wouldn't it not very much weight and i think that was a positive if you consider these are saturdays and sundays during the peak season in the summer so for now i think that's very good is it easy to start it's probably my main gripe here too many, too many stations where we end up fiddling quite a bit with the different cards, the app. Why doesn't that connect immediately? Why does the card does not work? I don't know, right? Um, and then is the status clear enough? Yes, I think it is most of the time. And most of the time there are facilities nearby. There's the few exceptions, but that's really not an issue, right? So overall, I think this is looking decent, but with quite a bit of margin for improvements and that means it is indeed possible to do this kind of 3000 kilometer journey over a few weeks going through France and Geneva using the DC rapid charger stations. So thank you for watching. Please leave your comments, let me know your experience and I'll catch you next time.